Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm just going to show some of my cameras that I have. Some people have been asking, what cameras do I use? So here we go. I think I'll start with the first camera that I ever used, and that was this one here. This is Pentax K1000. Lots of people have used this camera when they were starting out. I got this a long time ago at a pawn shop in Victoria. I used it religiously for a couple of years and then I decided to try medium format when I moved to Japan and uh, my wife's uncle just happened to have his grandfather's medium format camera and that was this one and uh, this is a Mamiya C330 twin lens reflex camera Right? Six six format, so that means it's just square. Negatives are square, and I uh, use this one quite a bit. It's a nice little camera. Took me a while to get used to it, especially square format. Um, the other thing you need to be aware of is the parallax, right? Because it's got two lenses. One is the taking lens, and the other is the composing or viewing lens. So if you're in really tight on something, you've got to make sure you're compensating for the parallax. And uh, this camera does have a mechanism in it when you're focusing. You just have to keep your eye on the mechanism. I've got a couple. This is the F and I uh, have the S. No really difference is the S has a little bit more plastic on it. That's a great lens. Great lenses on it though. And I also have a Rolly cord or a Rolly cord. Okay. I, I used this just recently in the video that I, I made. I was wandering around Riverview. And uh, again, once again, it's 6.6 six square format. It's just a lot smaller camera. Oops, as you can see, it's lighter. Lovely optics. So anyways, going back to the C330, I used this, uh, as I said, it was my wife's great-grandfather's because he used to have a photo studio in Japan, and I got to use the camera for quite a while, And uh, but I kind of felt a little bit restrained with the uh, square format. I don't know why. I just really wanted to try the 6.7 format, so I got a hold of the Mamiya RB67. And the reason why I went for this, probably two main reasons. The interchangeable backs, and they rotate from vertical to horizontal. The only downside of this camera is uh, it weighs a ton. So if I have this camera in a bag with uh, lenses, it gets to be pretty heavy. Decided to try my hands at large, large format. So I got myself a 4x5 camera. And eventually I got myself an 8x10 camera, which is this one here. It's a Can-Ham 8x10. And it's got the 8x10 back on it. I also have a 4x5 back. Beautiful camera. I've had this for about 20 years. Other medium format cameras. This one is really neat. It was my grandfather's camera when I was a young man. A Target 620, and I do stick uh, 120 film in it. Well, I have to re-spool it onto a 620 spool though, in the dark. An interesting story about this camera. When my mom gave it to me, I actually had a roll of film inside. And uh, so I developed it and you know, there was nothing really on it. That I, that it was just so old. I figured it was probably shot in the 30s, late 30s. Yeah, but there was one image that was I could sort of make out look like my grandfather when he was a really young man. He's probably standing with either his mom or my grandmother. Let's see if I can find that one. I'll show you guys. Uh, I also have a Hawkeye and I reversed the lens inside just for the, you know, the kind of the soft fuzzy corners. This one will take 120 without re-spooling. Really and I've got some folders. I also have uh, 
a Mamiya 6, but that's in Japan. I haven't been able to get over there because of COVID, but eventually I'll get over there and pick it up. My sister-in-law is holding on to that for me. Ooh, and Holgas. Who doesn't have a Holga? I've got three of them. I've got Holga S. I've had this one. Gosh, I bought it when I was living in Japan. Nice little camera. It's typical Holga, you know, it's got leaks in it and fuzzy edges. This is a Holga N, and I got this one because it has tripod mount and it does has bulb setting on it, so I can do slow shutter speed effects. And I also have a Holga the wide pinhole camera. That's a lot of fun to use. And I also have a Bel Air 612. I acquired this one recently, it has interchangeable lenses on it. Um, I have some 35mm rangefinder cameras. This is the Canonet 28. And this is, uh, it's pretty cool. I have a Ricoh 35. I really like the design. And this is also a rangefinder. Also has a film advance on the bottom too, or the dial at the top. I really like that for verticals. Another 35 millimeters other than this K1000 is I have the ME. Got a couple of those, ME Super. I use these. A really nice camera, a little bit smaller than K1000. A little bit lighter. Um, and older Pentax, Minolta. Oh, and I have an EOS, which I, I bought this when I was in Japan too, in the mid 90s. Nice camera, I haven't used it, used it since 2005. 2005, wow, that long. So I stuck a battery in it and uh, fired up, it works. Nice camera, I've had a lot of fun with that. This is a 14 by 17 camera. I'm not gonna pull it out and set it up today. I'll leave that for another day. Yes, I built this one. It's a piece of crap, but it works. Well, that's about all the cameras that I have. Thanks for coming along. I'm really glad I could share that with you. Um, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment that'd be great i'd love to hear what you have to say and remember the camera is just a tool it's what you do with it that matters